What's up, you freaking geniuses? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the reciprocal of a proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction, or mixed number, and also whole numbers. All right, so we're going to do some positive and negative examples. So, I wrote a few down here already, so let's start here on the top left. 4 over 9. What would the reciprocal of 4 over 9 be? Well, whenever you're trying to find the reciprocal of a fraction, you literally just flip it. Okay, so 4 over 9 would just be 9 over 4. Okay, pretty easy, right? Now, what about this one? Negative 4 over 9. So this one would be negative 9 over 4. Now, one thing I want to point out here. Looking at this first example, this one was positive, right? So we kept it positive. Now, the second example, this one was negative, so we kept it negative, okay? So if it's positive, keep it positive. If it's negative, keep it negative. Okay, so these were a couple proper fraction examples. So now let's try it with improper fractions, okay? But nothing changes. It's still the same process, okay? So if we have 5 over 2, the reciprocal would just be 2 over 5, okay? So here if we have negative 5 over 2, the reciprocal would be negative 2 over 5, okay? This was negative, so we keep it negative. So those are pretty easy, right? So let's try a couple mixed fraction examples. So how do you find the reciprocal of a mixed fraction or mixed number? Well, you can't really. So what you have to do first is turn it into a just regular fraction or more specifically an improper fraction. So how do you turn a mixed number into an improper fraction? Well, a quick way of doing that is just multiplying these two numbers and then adding this number at the end. So what's five times two? Five times two is 10, okay? And then we're gonna add three. Okay, so what's 10 plus 3? That's 13. So this is going to be the numerator of your improper fraction. So what goes down here in the denominator? Well, whatever denominator you had here originally is the one you're still going to have here. Okay, so 2 and 3 fifths is equal to 13 over 5. Okay, so now that this is in just a regular fraction form, 13 over 5, now we can find the reciprocal of it. So what would be the reciprocal of 13 over 5? Well, that would be 5 over 13, right? So the reciprocal of 2 and 3 fifths is equal to 5 over 13. Okay, so now let's just try it with a negative mixed fraction. So again, we have to turn this into an improper fraction first. And to do that, the quick way again is just going to be multiplying here and then adding that number there. And in this case, we're just going to hide this negative sign for now. We're not getting rid of it. We're just hiding it for now. So don't forget about it. Okay, so now let's change this. So this is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9, and then plus 1, right? So what's 9 plus 1? That's equal to 10. So again, this is going to be your numerator of your improper fraction. What goes down here? Well, whatever denominator we had here. So since we have a 3 here, we're going to have a 3 here. So 3 and 1 third is equal to 10 over 3. Okay, but like I said, don't forget your negative sign, okay? So since we had a negative sign here, we're also going to have a negative sign here. So now we have negative 10 over 3. So what would be the reciprocal of negative 10 over 3? Well, that would be negative 3 over 10. So the reciprocal of negative 3 and 1 third is negative 3 over 10 right? Now, lastly, let's just find the reciprocal of whole numbers. Okay, so how would you find the reciprocal of a whole number? Well, first, we would have to turn it into a fraction. So how can you turn a whole number into a fraction? Well, in order to do that, all you have to do is put it over 1. Because 7 over 1 is the same thing as saying 7 divided by 1, right? And what's 7 divided by 1? It's still just 7. So by putting it over 1, we don't change the value of it, right? Because it's still just 7. Okay, so now that we turned it into a fraction, now we can find the reciprocal. So what would be the reciprocal of 7 over 1? Well, that would just be 1 over 7. So that'd be your answer. Okay, now same thing over here. We have negative 9. So if we want to change this into a fraction, all we have to do is put it over 1. So now we have negative 9 over 1. What's the reciprocal of negative 9 over 1? That would just be 1 over negative 9. Or we could also write it as negative 1 over 9. Either one of these would be acceptable answers. 
All right, guys, so that's how you find the reciprocal of fractions and whole numbers. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely go check those out, and I'll see you there.